application of potash alum by crystallization. Potash alum is a double salt of potassium sulphate and aluminium sulphate. We can make pure crystals of potash alum by the process called crystallization. In this process, crystals of the pure substance are formed by cooling a hot saturated solution of an impure sample. The different steps involved in the crystallization process are Preparation of solution of the impure sample Filtration of the solution Concentration of the filtrate Cooling the concentrated solution Separation and drying of crystals Our aim is to prepare crystals of pure potash alum from the crude sample Materials required Crude sample of potash alum Distilled water Ethyl alcohol water mixture 250 ml beakers China dish Glass rod Spatula Funnel Filter papers Watch glass Test tube Evaporating dish Trough Stand with clamp Wire gauze Tripod stand Bunsen burner And a sand bath Procedure Preparation of solution of the impure sample Take about 30 ml of distilled water in a beaker. To this, add about 6 grams of the crude sample of potash alum using the spatula. Stir the contents of the beaker with a glass rod to make the solution clear. Warm to dissolve the whole of alum present in the solution. Filtration of the solution Clamp the funnel in which a filter paper is fixed to the stand. Place the china dish under the funnel. The stem of the funnel should touch the wall of the china dish to avoid the solution splashing out. Pour the solution into the funnel over the glass rod and collect the filtrate in the china dish. The insoluble impurities are left on the filter paper. Concentration of the filtrate Heat the china dish in a sand bath till the solution is reduced to about one-third of its original volume. To avoid crust formation on the sides of the dish, stir the solution continuously with the glass rod. To know if the solution has reached its crystallization point, remove a drop of the solution at the end of the glass rod and cool it by blowing. The appearance of a crust or tiny crystals on the glass rod shows that the crystallization point has been reached. Transfer the hot saturated solution into the evaporating dish. Cooling the concentrated solution Place the evaporating dish containing hot saturated solution in a trough containing water. Cover the dish with the watch glass and allow it to cool slowly for some time. As the solution cools, colorless crystals of potash alum begin to separate and the crystallization will be completed after half an hour. Separation and drying of crystals Decant the mother liquid carefully into a beaker. Wash the crystals three or four times with a little ethyl alcohol containing a small amount of cold water. Place the crystals on a filter paper which soaks up the solution. Transfer the crystals to another filter paper and dry them by pressing gently between the folds of the filter paper. Now, transfer the crystals into a dry test tube. The crystals of potash alum are colorless and transparent. Precautions The filtrate should be evaporated slowly by gently heating during concentration. The filtrate should never be heated to dryness. The solution should be cooled slowly without disturbing it.